Hi, my name is Florian Heller from Hasselt University in Belgium. On behalf of my co-authors, Jelko Adamczyk and Chris Leuten, I'd like to present Attraction, a field evaluation of multi-track audio as unobtrusive cues for pedestrian navigation. While on the move, you, like many other people, might wear headphones to listen to music, podcasts or audiobooks. Your smartphone has now become a ubiquitous navigation tool, but the spoken turn-by-turn -turn instructions are sometimes Starting a bit route interrupting. To University, Campus Deep and Beak. In Attraction, we leverage a series of technologies to seamlessly embed navigation cues into your personal soundscape. First, we use spatial audio rendering, which applies special filters to recorded audio signals, giving the user the impression that the sound emanates from a source located around her. Audio augmented reality applications use spatial audio rendering in combination with orientation and position information to overlay the physical space with a virtual audio space, creating the impression that the virtual audio sources are located in the real world. Multitrack recordings allow us to access the individual stems of a musical recording. As demonstrated in this example, a spatial audio rendering engine can then move the position of the singer independently of the other instruments. But I can fly, fly. We combine these technologies to implement our own mobile audio augmented reality navigation system where, for example, the singer's voice guides you to your destination. We ran an in-the-wild experiment with 25 participants and the following conditions. Attraction with waypoint notification plays a short ping sound whenever you reach a navigation waypoint. Attraction without waypoint not notification, where the only feedback is that the direction of the navigation queue moves into the direction of the next waypoint, and the spoken turn-by-turn -turn instruction as a baseline condition. We prepared eight popular pop songs and had participants walk along a 1.2 km path through an urban area. In blue, you see the designated path, including the navigation waypoints. In red, you see the actual path of the participants in the condition with notification. In green, you see the path of the participants in the uh, attraction condition without notification. And in yellow, you see the path of the participants in the baseline condition with turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Overall, without waypoint notification, we see that people had trouble finding the right point to turn. Attraction without notifications performs significantly worse than the two other conditions, but the version which plays a brief confirmation when reaching a waypoint is on par with the baseline turn-by-turn -turn instructions. Overall, the spoken turn-by-turn -turn instructions were not perceived to be interrupting or negatively impacting the listening experience. The perceived overall workload was also significantly lower in the baseline condition. Attraction, however, supports serendipitous discovery and makes walking more enjoyable. 